Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of 5-Minute EMS Review, where we give you short and to-the-point videos on different EMS topics. Today, I want to talk about why it's important for us to check our trauma bags at the beginning of every shift. I'm going to give you a hint that has something to do with this right here. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I appreciate you tuning in today. A little bit different for us today. I am out of town, so I don't have the use of my normal studio. So it's gonna be a little bit different background and I'm trying to get the best audio I can for you here with the uh, headphones and microphone. So uh, bear with me. But we are talking about uh, why it's important to check the trauma bag at the beginning of every shift. And I alluded to the fact that it has something to do with this right here. This is the combat application tourniquet. And I recognize that there are a lot of different tourniquets out there. So this may not be the one that your service uses, uh, but hopefully, uh, even if that's the case, uh, we can introduce you to it a little bit today, get you familiar with it, or uh, if you've already used it before, teach you something you may not have already known. Uh, if you're like my service, uh, we have a standard or uh, expectation at the beginning of every shift that you check the trauma bag to make sure that the combat application tourniquet or CAT device is present. Uh, that's pretty obvious, right? If we're going to deal with any severe extremity hemorrhage and need to control it with a tourniquet, we have to have the tourniquet present. But I'm going to do you one better and suggest that not only should it be present, but it needs to be stored in the quick launch configuration. So how many of you have pulled the cat device or combat application tourniquet out of the trauma bag and found it just balled up in a, in a big mess with no uh, logic to it at all. Well, that's not gonna help us when it comes to trying to put the, the tourniquet on in a hurry. How many of you have pulled it out and found it still in the shrink wrap? All right, well, that's again, not gonna be very helpful for us uh, when it comes to a speedy deployment. How many of you have found it something like this where we've got the time loop already locked in place over both clasps covering the windlass? Uh, probably not the best manner. We'll talk about that in a minute. Or if you're like me, uh, you might've even found it like this, or in my case, helped kind of perpetuate storing it in a manner like this, where the red tab was uh, folded back over on itself. At the time, I thought it seemed like a good idea. We'll, we'll talk about why it wasn't uh, in a minute. So the key is we want to deploy this thing with as much speed as possible in the situation of a major extremity hemorrhage. Uh, so time is a critical factor. So what we want to talk about is the quick launch configuration. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the end with the red tab, like we're applying the tourniquet on an extremity. We're going to run it through the buckle and we're going to give ourselves about eight inches or so through the buckle and then fold it back on itself. So it should look something like this. All right. So now we've got it folded back on itself and in the middle we're going to kind of fold it like this and we want the buckle to be more or less in the middle. So we see you've got the buckle more or less in the middle, the windlass on one end, the red tab on the other. Now I'm going to take it and fold it on itself like this. So it'll look like that in the front and key difference in the quick launch position. We want to have that time loop folded over to the side like that. So it'll look like this in the front windlass tucked in one of those clasps like this where the hook and loop fields that it's kind of backed on itself will kind of help keep it bunched together ni nicely and then like this on the back with the red tab and you can see the, the writing the key for this here is speed so like we said this is folded on itself that helps prevent a step so when i go to deploy the windlass i don't have to undo this deploy the windlass and then put it back down it's already here out of my way i'll turn the windlass and then lock it down uh, if I, for some reason, have to pull the whole tourniquet back through the buckle to have the whole thing uh, coiled out at my disposal, I don't have this red tab folded back on itself acting as a stopper knot uh, to prevent me from, from go going through the buckle. Wouldn't be too much of a slowdown, but in the heat of the moment with stress and trying to work quickly, your fingers might fumble for a minute trying to get back through the buckle. So that's the key there with that red, uh, red tab. Now, 
The reason this is nice, if I'm going for an application where I'm gonna just deploy it by sliding it straight up the arm, just gotta undo it like that, get my red tab up over an arm, and tighten it. If for some reason I want to pull it all the way through, red tab, all the way through and out, now I can put it around maybe a larger extremity or some extremity where I wasn't gonna be able to slide it up. And again, this was not getting in my way by being folded over. So if you have uh, found your cat device in one of those configurations that we talked about that's gonna slow you down, take the time to uh, correct it and maybe find out if the person on the shift before you was new or maybe they just didn't know about the quick launch configuration. You can have a little teachable moment with them. And if you're like me and you just didn't know and you were perpetuating a, a method of storing it that wasn't the best, now you know, and hopefully you can uh, put that into practice. So I hope you got a little something out of this. Even if you don't use the combat application tourniquet, you're at least uh, a little bit familiar with what it looks like and how it works. We appreciate you checking out the video. Uh, would love it if you'd look at some of our other videos. We've got a, a playlist for different categories back on our homepage. Subscribe if you find it helpful and uh, share it with anybody else you think may find it helpful as well. We'll see you next time. Tune in for another five-minute EMS review.